Hello and welcome to Knives Out Movie Summary. On the occasion of his 85th birthday, wealthy crime writer Harlan Thrombey invites his large family to his secluded house to share some crucial but upsetting news. Fran, Harlan's housekeeper, discovers him dead in his study the following morning, though. Benoit Blanc, a seasoned private investigator, and the police are brought in to conduct the investigation. Secrets and potential murderous intentions are uncovered during a series of interviews with family members. When it was discovered that Richard, Harlan's son-in-law, had cheated on his wife Linda, Harlan's daughter, Harlan threatened to expose him. Harlan revealed Joni, his daughter-in-law and the widow of his deceased son Neil, after she stole $400,000 from him by depositing fake checks intended for Meghan into a secret bank account. During the celebration, Walter, Harlan's youngest son, was let go from his father's publishing business. Ransom, Linda, and Richard's son, had learned he had been completely left out of the will. Then it is revealed that Marta Cabrera, Harlan's caregiver, took him upstairs after the celebration so she could give him his bedtime prescription. Before Marta could administer his medication, Harlan humorously knocked the go board off the table and started playing. Marta grabbed the vials and gave him an injection before realizing she had given him 100 milligrams of morphine by mistake. Before cutting his own neck, Harlan provided Marta detailed instructions on how to flee and avoid detection in order to protect his companion. Marta then backed out of the driveway, parked her car, and entered the home through the gate. In order to deceive Walter, who had seen Marta leave and ruled her out as a suspect, she climbed up the trellis on the side of the house while wearing Harlan's coat and hat. Marta is questioned by the authorities since she is a reliable source because she cannot lie without throwing up, but she successfully gets through the questioning. Blanc is driven to identify the real cause of death since she believes there was foul play. The following day, Marta is able to cover up many of the clues that Blanc, Marta, and the police find while searching the house and its surrounds. The family eagerly awaits the reading of Harlan's will as it is the day of the event. They are horrified to learn that Marta will receive everything, including his inheritance, the house, and his business. Despite the family's previous generosity to Marta, they quickly turn against her, Ransom helps her flee, though. Once at a nearby restaurant, Ransom manipulates Marta into telling him everything. The family members are aware that they will receive their inheritance back if Marta's guilt as the murderer can be established. They insist that the investigation into the murder continue, and Blanc reiterates his suspicion of foul play while stating that anyone may still be a suspect. This results in Marta receiving a partial photocopy of Harlan's toxicology report and a ransom note that says, I know what you've done. When Marta and Ransom get at the medical examiner's office, they discover that it is on fire and overrun with police. Marta checks her email at Ransom's urging and discovers an address in time. However, Marta and Ransom are finally unable to elude their pursuers before Ransom is imprisoned after Juanetta, Harlan's mother and the old matriarch of the family, mistakenly identifies Marta as him at the house. Blanc observes the couple before they get into a car chase. Marta arrives at the address to discover Fran under the influence of drugs. Fran is safely transported to the hospital thanks to Marta's CPR efforts and police phone call. Marta tells Blanc everything on the way back to the mansion, and Blanc counsels her against telling the family. Blanc advises her to stop just in time, though, after he discovers something in a copy of the complete toxicology report that Fran had secreted away. Ransom is brought by the police to the residence and put in a segregated space where Blanc and Marta are waiting. Blanc says that he figured out who done it and then shares what he knows. After learning about Marta's inheritance from Harlan the night of the party, Ransom stormed out and made the decision to blame her for his death. In order to ensure the morphine overdose, Ransom switched the drug in the bottles and took out the emergency morphine countermeasure. Then, when the rest of the family was at Harlan's burial, Ransom switched the vials back. Fran sent Ransom the Ransom letter after spotting him in Harlan's study that day and assuming he was involved in Harlan's death, Ransom then clipped out the address and mailed the letter to Marta. The medical examiner's office was afterwards set on fire by Ransom to secure the destruction of Harlan's blood samples. Prior to burning the original copy of the toxicology result and sending Marta Fran's location to the police in an effort to make them believe Marta had murdered Fran, Ransom confronted Fran and drugged her with morphine, almost killing her. The toxicology analysis indicates later on that Harlan wasn't poisoned at all, and Marta had naturally administered the right prescription to Harlan but was unaware of the error due to the mislabeling. 
When Marta learns that Fran is still alive, she gets a call from the hospital, which forces Ransom to confess to his misdeeds before threatening Marta with legal action and retaliation. Marta then throws up on Ransom, admitting she was lying and that Fran truly passed away in the hospital. Ransom tries to kill Marta out of wrath after being deceived into confessing to murder and arson, but the knife turns out to be one of Harlan's many props. The rest of the family observes with disdain as he is subsequently brought into police custody. The remaining Thrami family sees Marta enjoying coffee from Harlan's distinctive cup with the phrase my house, my rules, my coffee scrawled on it while Ransom is carried away from the estate. A summary of the movie Knives Out was provided. Enjoy your day and never forget to like, share, and follow.